welcome to Ida and her books. I'm Ida and these are my books. This video will be my TBR for the book Tubathon, which I am participating in this year. And uh, I'm just gonna go through all the books I wanna get to. First challenge is to determine your first read by coin toss. And so I have two books that I wanna read. I have Changeless by Gail Carriger. I just finished the first book in the series, so I wanna, wanna read the next one. It's a sort of steampunk urban fantasy uh, story. The first one is about how uh, new vampires are popping up all over the city and then no one knows really where they're coming from. And this book I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because it's a spoiler for the first. But I want to read this one. Second book I want to read is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. I bought this one recently because it's very popular on booktube. So I want to read it. I heard great things about it. Not entirely sure what it's about, but I, I want to read it nonetheless. So I'm going to toss my coin and see which one I get. So we have this side with a five and we have this side with the crown. So this side will be changeless. And this side is The Raven Boys. I got this side, so I'll be starting with this book, Changeless by Gail Carriger. I'm excited for that. I might still get to this one, but Changeless will be my first read. Next challenge is read a book about something that you would like to do. I found this one difficult to find a book on my own shelves. I want to choose books from my shelves because I want to get through all my books. And I don't really have that many contemporaries, unless it's like, find your love, find the perfect man. And... Uh, no. So I have two books that I thought would fit. The first one is The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Afon, which is about a boy who, uh, who reads a book and he gets obsessed with the author and decides that he wants to find him. There's something mysterious going on. I think I read this one before, a couple years ago, and if I remember correctly, it's good. But you know, who doesn't want to meet your favorite author? So. Uh, that is loosely why I want to read this one. The second one I have is uh, The Devil Wears Prada on the premise of I want to work abroad. So I have both of these. I think this one will be for this challenge because I'll be getting back to this one in a moment. So yeah, I want to read The Shadow of the Wind. Next challenge is to read and watch a book to movie adaptation. Here I also have The Devil Wears Prada because I also have the DVD and that made it simple. So. Uh, I'm gonna read this one and watch this one. This book is about a woman who starts working for a very prestigious fashionable magazine and the movies with Anne Hathaway and Meryl Streep and I've seen this one so many times and I love it which is why I bought the book. Um, so that is what I'm gonna do. I also have I Am Number Four by Peticus Lore on this challenge. I don't have the movie so we'll see if I watch it anyway. But this book was on my summer TBR already so if I get to it I get to it because I'm not that excited to watch the movie again. So I might just read it because I want to read it. Next challenge is a book with green on the cover. So I chose a book with a green cover. And uh, this is The Guardians by Andrew Piper. And it is some kind of horror, I think, uh, judging by the back. And yeah, this is my green book. Next challenge is wearing a hat while reading a book. I chose this hat. It's a Legend of Zelda. Hat. And I chose this book, The Making of Prince of Persia by Jordan Mencher. Me Mechner? Mechner? It's definitely not Mencher. I just misread this person. Because I thought, nerdy, nerdy. This one doesn't have a text on the back. <laughs> but, but it says journals uh, from 1985 to 1993. And so yeah, this is, it's a non-fiction, but I find it interesting. So I'm gonna read that. Next challenge is read a book with a beautiful spine. And I chose this spine, which matches the cover. The book is The City of Brass by Shackerbordy. S.A. Shackerbordy. I bought this book because it reminds me a lot of uh, The Rebel of the Sands, which I loved, uh, both in like cover, but also in story. So I'm gonna read this one and it's pretty, look at it. The last challenge is to read seven books in seven days. And I already have seven books, but you know, in case I want to read more, my TBR continues. Like I said, I will still probably read The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater, because I still want to read it. 
And then I added two more books, just cause I might finish the rest. And that is Sleeping Giants by BuzzFeed. Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Newell, um, which is a sci-fi story. And last one I want to get to is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard, which is a fantasy adventure, political scheme kind of story. So that is my TBR and it is, it's 11 books in seven days. My partner asked me the, the other day if we we're gonna spend any time with him during this week. We'll see. If uh, the week goes as planned, we will probably be spending the entire week at my partner's summer house, which means I will not be able to log every day because I won't have internet. But if you still want to get updated with my reading progress, you can follow me on Instagram at Books. And at the end of the week, I will upload a longer vlog with all my reading. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be exciting. It's my first readathon, um, and it's gonna be fun. Subscribe, maybe hit the like button. Uh, like I said, follow me on Instagram. And uh, I will see you next week. Bye.